I'm here with the winner, Louis Galdino. First of all, Louis, congratulations on a successful flyweight debut, and what a wild fight that was. You guys started out that first round at 150 miles an hour, man. My name is Louis Goodnight Galdino, and I'm on Team Tiger Shulman's. Just uh, cooking breakfast here for the kids before we start our day. Harry's about to go to school. Little one's up. Never a dull moment. This is the biggest pain in my ass. And the other one's the second biggest pain in my ass. You guys can decide. Do I say my name? Yeah, okay, I'm Ariana. <laughs> I'm the wife of Sarah. Jackson, tell him your name. <laughs> Bye, boo boo. Have fun at school. Love you too. Nice to meet you. One, two. Go open the chicken coop, puppy. My wife hates this because they poop on the porch, but I don't care. This is the special chicken. She comes inside the house. Come on, Bridget. Come on in. She, she hangs out with me. Feeding the chickens. We're gonna let them out for a little bit. We'll feed them outside, right? Get her. There you go, gentle. That's Stormy. She's a little girl. Let's go outside. They're starting to get crazy. So I grew up in Yonkers. So five years ago, I wouldn't have imagined living out here in the middle of nowhere. But I love it. What is? Oh, that's the goat. I thought that was my son climbing the gate. Trying to do a count. We're missing a duck, which means something got it. Hey guys, come on. See, they're gonna get you. Come on, Jack Jack, you can get the goat food. Remember, they might try to knock you over, they're crazy. You like playing in mud, I know. We're not gonna get muddy right now. No, we're not gonna get muddy, come on. All right, I'm gonna leave you out here then. over there, garden over there, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, fruit trees in the back, little by little. This year we didn't get any apples, but we got peaches. Last year we didn't get peaches, but we got apples, so maybe next year we'll get both. Still no pears though, the pears aren't giving us anything. I'm going to work. Now? Yep. I thought I was coming with you, one am I? No, not today. Bye, Jackie. I love you. Good listener. Okay. Bye, okay. mm. babe. Mm. They're fighting already. I'm. I'm not. An hour and three minutes, but I'll make it in fifty-five. Podcast, YouTube. Um, you know, listen to something. My wife told me I should start listening to audiobooks, but I like uh, YouTube. But it's nice. I just get to zone out for an hour. Unless the boys are with me. Then it's an hour. But today they're out with me, so. Good morning. About to teach instructor training for two hours, and then uh, head over to Hoboken and teach for the day.
your level, you step in heel, toe, knee. I keep driving forward. This one is sliding on the mat. Step, step, and go to the side. And then again, change level. Heel, toe, knee. Step, step. Go sideways a little bit. You should get four or five on your way down. Go ahead. Leave that lane open. You jog around and go back. Bend your knees. Step in. Now, heel, toe. Now when your knee hits, hit your knee back here. See how you're already pushing her back? Now step, step. Yes. Mm -hmm. He puts his arms on me, okay? Arms. If they're straight, I'm gonna pop and change my level. If his elbows are bent, I'm gonna chop down and go down at the same time. Keep hitting him, Jeff. That's because he can't take you down. This is kickboxing. Nice right hand, but commit to it. Jeff, turn on the two. You're right, so there you go. On the double left or double right, you're loading up. You're pulling your shoulder back. So watch his right shoulder. Boom, boom. So the right hand, the second right hand is strong. He doesn't pull it back where he's square. He pulls his right hand back. Don't get nervous because he's filming. Some people say Tiger Schulman's is a McDojo. I mean, the results speak for themselves. Myself, Nick Pace, Julio Arce, Jimmy Rivera, Shane Burgos, Mike Rizal. We started when we were kids, teenagers in Tiger Schulman's. Made it all the way up into the UFC at the highest level. It's not like somebody came in as a Division One wrestler, you know, and learned to overhand right, and they made it. We knew nothing when we started, and we took it to the highest level in martial arts. So I think it's just hate, but it is what it is. Just finished up training, heading over to Vicario's. Get some uh, fuel for the day. Lock the door, Rob's coming. Here are my carriers. Gonna get some steak before we head to the school to teach for the day. What'd you get, stir fry? This is uh, <laughs> he does the, he does this shit eating grin. What do you want this me to do? Is, uh, this is Christian McCauley. He's three and zero as a professional fight. Three and zero. Two finishes. Three finishes. Two first round. No, one first round. One first round. See, now it doesn't look as good. Yeah. I gotta start over, it didn't sound as good. This is Christian, three fights, three and oh, three finishes, one within like 20 seconds. It's almost as fast as you and Maria. Um, but yeah, I've been teaching him since he's 10 years old. Uh, works at the school with me, he runs the school in Hoboken with me. That's it, yeah, there's his gun. Yeah. <laughs> they put me next to my work wife. My BFF, that's Jimmy Rivera. You gotta get that. Finish eating, off to uh, Hoboken to get the day started as far as uh, teaching at the school. The Ultimate Fighter was, it was a mix and match, like it was good and it was bad. So the best thing about it was the list. So every day you could write down whatever you want, salmon, spicy tuna roll, chunky vanilla peanut butter, right? And then the next morning you wake up and it would just magically be on the counter in the fridge. Hard part was you're away from your family. You know, at the time I didn't have the boys, so it was just Ariana, but she was three. No phone call, no TV, no internet, no magazine, no radio. We didn't hear music for six weeks. You know, thinking about doing another fight, like I don't think that itch will ever go away. I thought about it, but you know, between the two schools, three kids, hour long of driving, you know, it's a big commitment. So there's always a chance, yeah. I mean, this is so comfortable. A little power nap. Can't do too much, right? You do, if you do too much and you get more tired, charge you up for the day. This is Mando. I haven't fed him, so he's probably very cranky. I got him right before COVID, so he's not that big. I don't feed him that much. He bit me one time, but that's because the, the mouse in there, I tried to move it like an idiot. But yeah, he's pretty tame. I always knew I wanted to, um, to be a martial. Why are you grilling me, bro? <laughs> When I first started uh, fighting, there wasn't even a 155 pound weight class in the UFC. So at the time I was already, you know, teaching in, in a school. And then the, the instructor that was here in Hoboken, he, uh, he was moving to a spot in 
Long Island, so the Hoboken school became available, and it just made sense. You know, a lot of people, when they fight, they have to worry about what to do afterwards. I was already setting up my career for when I'm done fighting, and now, you know, I have the Hoboken location, and hopefully within the next month or two, we're going to be opening up uh, Jersey City. No, 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 out of tension on the cage. On the cage, out of tension. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, eyes forward. No talking. Toes together, hands tight. No wiggling. Teaching the um, Tigers intermediate, so they're going to be sparring today. Woo, already done. Look at that. All the way around, no shortcuts. Yup. Martinez kicking with his right leg. A front kick with his right leg. Okay, kicking with your right leg. Go. Good. Where was he kicking? Did it go up or did it go in? Ethan, in. So notice there, go ahead. Kick. I didn't time it right, but it didn't hit me because I what? I moved back, that's a little bit of insurance. If you stay there, and you go, uh-huh, and you go to scoop and you don't time it right, they're gonna get you, okay? Why do we spar? Feel like how it is, like know what it's like to get punched or kicked, right? You can't really defend yourself if all you do is punch and kick this. You gotta learn how to block, you gotta learn your timing, okay? Are you trying to hit each other? Yes. 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 Are you trying to kill each other? No. I think my sensei, Louis Gautamur, is very funny, sarcastic. <laughs> I think my sensei is great. He's Both also my a great sensei. teacher. He makes, te my he makes teaching fun. This is the guy that's so awesome. Okay, that's all. We love our sensei. Yes, love. Oos. Turn your body. Turn your knees. Now go into her. Into her. Keep going. If there was ever a sport for my sensei to compete in, it's bare knuckle boxing. Or bare knuckle MMA. See? Look, she's at it too. He should do that. <laughs> that's his sport. It's his sport. It's his sport. I think he'd be the flyweight champ, no problem. Bare knuckle boxing, sensei G. The return. Return. Green hair, had it for 16 years, did it in college once and then kind of stuck with me and I have a job where I can have green hair, so it's good, right? So right from here, you're just gonna jump and you're just kind of spinning in your spot, boom. So they don't see it coming. So don't do the step. Watch money do it one more time. One, two, and freeze. Watch his uh, left foot. Go. He's just turning. Okay, let's go. Last round. That's it for me. That's a day in the life. Closing up shop now. I have a uh, one hour car ride home. Listen to it, Joe Rogan maybe. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me. You guys could uh, follow me, uh, Lou Galdino UFC, that's my Instagram. I have a school in Hoboken if you guys wanna come and train. And uh, January, February of next year, we're gonna be opening up one in uh, Jersey City. So come check me out. Have a good night, guys.